Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I know I'm really behind the curve on this, but today I'm gonna do a little uh, experimentation with the slot dog. It's um, a little device that cuts slots in your hot dog. Why? Now, if you're not familiar with what a slot dog is, it's basically this device that cuts, you know, a checker pattern, a crisscross pattern into your hot dog. The purpose being, um, it gets you more of those, you know, nice golden brown edges. Um, since a hot dog is a tube, you know, they call it a tube steak for a reason, and it doesn't really have any corners to get sort of, you know, golden brown and delicious. By cutting slots into it with a hot dog, and some people just do it with a knife, um, you can get these golden brown, delicious little crusty bits on your hot dog. We're gonna test it out. We're also gonna do a blind taste test at the end with my resident hot dog aficionado to see if it does indeed make a difference. So first, let's take a look at this thing. It's pretty nondescript. The reason I'm doing this is this was on the clearance shelf at my local Ace Hardware store. Um, I've heard about them, I've seen them before, but I've never actually got to try one. What it looks like is, you know, you got a tube here and then you got a stainless steel grid down this side, uh, which you're supposed to press onto the hot dog, kind of rock it back and forth to cut a grid, flip the hot dog over, and then do the same thing. But before I do that, and before I start experimenting with hot dogs, I'm gonna take this thing inside and I'm gonna wash it first. Because it was made in a factory, and you don't know by who or where, so wash it before you use it. All right, so before we get this whole slot dog thing going on, make sure you hit that subscription button down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like, and also hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I make a new video. So we're gonna be cooking these hot dogs today on my Kraft Cheese Weber kettle. If you've never seen this grill before, it was basically a giveaway by Kraft Cheese and a guy who lives somewhat near me. Uh, he won it, but he doesn't like charcoal grills, so he sold it to me for 20 bucks. Gonna do it on charcoal grill because I figure that's gonna give us the best flavor for these hot dogs and that'll probably produce the nice, the best crispy edges. All right, so I'm gonna be using some Kirkland Signature, AKA Costco hot dogs here. Um, I like these, they're pretty pretty tasty. And they're a nice size, they're not like the real skinny ones. Yeah, they're not the big, huge food court ones, so don't get excited. You sell the, they sell those too at Costco, they're quarter pound hot dogs, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so here it is. Basic premise is you're supposed to kinda take the slotted end here and just kinda rock it back and forth Let's see. Okay, and you can see here that it kind of it gets this pattern in there. Now, on the directions for the slot dog, it says to use um, hot dogs with no casing. These have casings. I don't really ever buy no casing hot dogs, so got to make sure you get in there. So you might have to push a little harder to get through, but there you go. I'm not going to do all the hot dogs using the, the slot dog, but I'll do four or five of them so we can try them out. Sometimes stuff gets stuck in there. That's not good. Might be interesting to clean out, but we'll see. They should make one with a removable grate. So it shouldn't be hard to tell which ones are which when I put them on the grill here. One of the things I do like about the slot dog is it kind of flattens out the dog a little bit. Um, so it doesn't roll around so much on the grill grate. That's kind of interesting. Uh, not bad, okay. And I'm gonna cook these all the same way and then we're gonna do the side-by-side -side comparison. I'll try one too, just because. I wanna keep an eye on these. I don't really wanna burn them. Um, you know, cause no one likes it. Well, actually that's not true. Some people do like a burned hot dog. All right, we'll check back in a bit. So I can already see the the Slot dog ones are starting to expand a little bit more. I'm sure those grooves have something to do with that. And I think I'm gonna move them a little bit off the heat because these are cooking quick. But I definitely do see, you know, some 
interesting char lines on there. I don't smell anything differently. It just smells kind of like a hot dog. Put that one over there, get a little more heat on it. These will cook quick because this charcoal grill is ripping hot right now. The ones that are looking pretty good, I'm probably just going to put on this cool side over here. Always make sure you got two zones when you're cooking, just especially on charcoal. Ooh, even with my long tongs, sucker's hot. You can really see it pulling away. In fact, I'll get in here with the phone and take a couple pictures. Seems like the deeper you make the grooves, obviously, the more it opens up. Um, so if you make real shallow grooves, you're not going to have that much expansion on the dog. But you can see on this side right here, I barely got anything in there. Learning process. But definitely going to try to get some more color on there. This one's pretty much done. I'm going to leave that one there. Uh, it does let a little bit more of the grease from the hot dog drip out. So you might have a little bit more of a flare up if you're doing the... Uh, char dog you can see that right there Woo. flare up I'm gonna move these over here all right when I do the taste test I'm definitely gonna pick one that has uh, deeper grooves here all right I'm picking my two subjects here all right so this is my blind taste tester here I've got two hot dogs I'm gonna mix them up a little bit so he doesn't know which one's which I'm gonna flip them around I'm gonna face them both the same way all right let's try give me your hand huh? flip it over you're grabbing a hot dog. Try to grab... Okay, this is hot dog A. Don't feel the hot dog, just feel the bun. Taste it. Put it down. You're not eating the whole thing. <laughs> Does it taste like a hot dog? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is hot dog B. Okay. Well, we'll finish the other one first, you slob. <laughs> All right. Good? All right, try that one. Any difference? Mm, hot dog B was definitely the slot dog. How could you tell? Because uh, it had slots in it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't your mother teach you not to talk with food in your mouth? No. Okay. All right, thanks, that was awesome, bye. So we just had the slot dogs for dinner. Um, as you saw, my son, he um, could tell obviously which one it was, but that's not part of the taste test. He said his overall opinion was it was a little bit crispier. The flavor definitely had a little bit more char but he could take it or leave it, whether it was a uh, slot dog or a regular hot dog. My daughter said they were much crispier and she actually preferred them over regular hot dogs. So that's a you know one win for the slot dog. And my wife, who's an extremely picky eater, said she prefers traditional hot dogs over the slot dogs. So my opinion, um, it definitely does crisp up the edges, gives you a little bit of like texture to it. it. Makes the hot dogs a little floppy since you're basically destroying the structure of the casing. It, it, makes them a little floppy and, and it releases a lot more, you know, juice or grease or fat or whatever's in the hot dog, um, releases a lot more of that. So you get maybe a slightly less juicy hot dog, but it is interesting. I mean, like I said, I picked it up from the bargain bin at my local hardware store. If you're interested, if you're, if hot dogs just ain't doing it for you anymore and you want to add a little pizzazz to your, your, your dog game, get a slot dog. Eh. This is not a rousing endorsement. I just figured I'd make the video. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check me out on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Um, also follow me on Facebook. I got a Facebook page. Just go to Facebook, search Dave's Ohio Barbecue. You should be able to find it. And make sure you hit that uh, subscription button down below and then hit the little bell next to it. That way you get a notification anytime I make a new video. And I've got a lot of videos coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.